A world without string is chaos, according to Lars Smuntz, and likewise I feel the game without rules is a catastrophe. So, both in order to lay down a framework for what's going to be going on here, as well as to allow you guys not to be in the dark with what I want the general progression of the series to be, I'm just going to lay down a bit of a game plan here. So, basically I was talking to a friend one day and I told him, I said, well, you know, technically there are, like, a finite number of SNES games. It would be possible to play through them all. And he says, yeah, you should do it. <laughs> and that was kind of it, that, that sort of offhand comment turned into this project, and so now uh, the idea is to pl try, attempt to play through every single NA-released SNES game, um, but not just to play through it, but to play through it legitimately. That was actually a big issue I had while he and I were discussing this project, is that um, you know, I mean, let's let's be honest here. ROMs exist in this world, and uh, we all know what they are, and if we're honest with ourselves, we've all probably used them at one point or another. And I looked at this, and I just felt, if I'm going to be doing a project like this, if I'm going to be doing something that gives, uh, you know, honor, uh, credits, uh to Nintendo, the games that I loved as a kid, I want to do it legitimately. I want to be playing the game straight off of the console itself and getting the footage that way. It's the only legal way that I know of to do it. And so, because of that, we gathered up all the wires required, all the crazy adapters and things like that, and we have a working recording functioning, I don't know what you want to call it, system, where it records the footage directly off the SNES. So every, all the footage you see here, and the sounds and things like that, are straight from the console itself. There's been no editing, no hacking, no ROMing, nothing. It is all legitimate footage. Now, uh, as far as the games and the order that I'll be playing them in, they go in uh, order, I'm going to be trying to go in order of release date. Now, it's it's easy enough to get the month that every game was released in, but the day is a little more difficult. So what I'll be doing is playing through uh, the general month release date of all the games. I'm sorry if I, you know, I'm probably, I'm not probably, I'm going to mix up uh, the games uh, as far as they've been released by day, but they should be in order by month. Um, and I, I, and here's actually something that I struggle with a bit is I looked at all the sports games. Let's be real here, friends. Um, you know, maybe, maybe back in the day we got excited about these sports games, but, uh, these sports games really don't apply to our lives nowadays because all the players have retired, they're older, and I personally have always, <laughs> and I, I'm sorry, I don't want to alienate anybody, but I've personally always hated sports games. Um, originally I was going to just skip them and then package them all up into like a big bundle where I did like 20 in an episode. Um, and then I talked to a friend, uh, who said something about really enjoying like some sports game he was playing. I think it was Madden. I don't remember which one it was. And he said he, he almost felt like it was an RPG. And I just looked at him and I'm like, wait, what? What are you talking about? Um, and... It, long story short, essentially, he made me realize that there are people who like sports games, you know? I might not be one of them, um, but if I'm going to be doing justice to the community that loves SNES games, I guess I probably shouldn't package the sports games together in a quick bundle. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, I, I guess it just depends. Like, I'm So what I'm trying to say is I'm going to try... To give it my best to take the sports game seriously i'm going to try to do episodes on them but if i get to a point where i'm i'm playing through them and i'm just like these are just the same thing over and over again then i'll probably bundle them together in, in sort of a, a, a well a bundle episode and that those might not necessarily be in order just by the nature that I will be taking them and doing them all at once So they probably won't be in chronological order is what I'm trying to say Now uh, there are a lot of different dates here. And it's very possible that I might make some error at some point So I'm sorry, please don't kill me if I do but, You know by all means feel free to point it out 
um, but with over 700 different titles here, it's I'm bound to make a mistake somewhere. So, uh, yeah, Look, please forgive me if I do, and, and uh, go easy on me if I if that happens. Now, um, the idea is to play each guide with or play each game without a guide. Uh, now. I'm going to be doing that as best as possible. The only time I'm going to resort to a guide is if something is just mechanically stupid or very unclear. Uh, and I'm I'm a very strict gamer in this sense, so don't think I'm going to be taking it easy on myself. I'm not just going to be like, oh well, stuck. On, I've been stuck on 10 minutes. I, I guess I'll just look this up. No, I mean I'm going to be giving it my all and trying to beat the game without any kind of outside help. That being said, I am trying to be on a timeline and a schedule, so if the schedule goes out of whack uh, because I'm stuck in a game, I might have to look it up just so for the simple fact that I can actually put out an episode. Or, like I said, if the game is just horribly unclear as to what I'm supposed to do, um, or is very just badly made. Um, and and I'm, like I said, I'm not going to try and not use that as an excuse, but then I, I will result to a guide. But for the most part, what I'm trying to say is that you can trust that these are going, the footage that you see is going to be genuine gameplay footage. I'm not, you know, trying to make myself look better than I am or something. Now, uh, as far as the extras in a game, I will, if I think the game's extras are decent and worth playing through, I'll probably try and do them. Um, in the case of some RPGs, you know, maybe I'll miss a couple quests, or maybe I won't do each and every something. I mean, I don't know, I haven't played, I've, I think I've only played like 100 or so, 140 of the games that have been released for the Asinia, so I don't know each and every game, but, you know, maybe I'll just get to something where the extras just aren't worth it. Um, other than that, uh, everything should be in chronological order. I am going to skip one game. One game. It is the most influential game probably in my life. Uh, and I'm going to come out right now and say I actually, I really, I really, really like this game. But I'm under no illusions that it, it, it isn't the best game in the world. And I'm going to try to save that one for the very end. And uh, so, if you see that I've skipped one, and uh, <laughs> I guess this is funny because I just told you to correct me if you see me skipping one, but I, I will tell you now that there is one that I'm going to skip purposefully. It doesn't come for quite a while, so you don't have to worry about it yet, but uh, I will be, I will be, uh, going doing that one. Now, as far as the episodes themselves, I wanted them to kind of be a historic outlook of, uh, of uh, SNES games. I wanted the, the, I want the episodes to capture what the game is, some highlights of the game. Uh, I want to kind of try and keep my opinion a little bit lower than maybe you would see, see in, in other reviews. The reason for that is because I want to present the game as it is. I want to capture the essence of what the game is and show it to you. And I know that if I give a bunch of opinions, you know, I, I will, I might taint what you could take away from the game. And that's not what I want. I want you to be able to look at it and, and make your own judgments. That's not to say that I won't be giving opinions, but I will be trying to take a focus on just what the game is and keeping my complaining to a minimum unless I can objectively prove something or, you know, have a have a pretty solid uh, complaint. That being said, these episodes aren't meant to be comprehensive. Their games are huge. There's always going to be more things I could have talked about. There's always going to be more things that I want to talk about, but I just can't put in because, well, time. And uh, if I did, I think, you know, probably the first episode would be three or four hours long. So, all in all, those are kind of the ground rules for what I'm going for here. Um, originally I intended this to be a two minute explanation. I see that it's turned into about a 10 minute explanation. So if you stuck with me to the end, I really appreciate you listening to me. Um, otherwise, if you didn't, don't feel bad. Although if you didn't, you wouldn't be hearing this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you have it. I hope you enjoy the series. And if you have any comments, any kind of complaints, suggestions, your favorite games that you want to gush about. I don't care what it is. I'm more than happy to listen. 
uh, to respond, those kinds of things. So, until then, uh, I look forward to presenting you with some good episodes, and I hope you enjoy the show!